everyone welcome to cooking with pumpkin here i am again another week and it's still the pandemic we started out you know just wanting to encourage you to get up and cook we know you need to eat so i'm just showing you just something simple that you can do i know you can do it i believe in you so get up and cook so today we're frying fish and we're baking fish also at the same time. So, cause I, you know, I know everybody don't like baked fish. I, I know everybody don't like um, fried fish. So we're gonna get it started. I'm gonna start the oven. I'm gonna start it kind of high, maybe like 400. Cause we don't wanna be in here all day. No, this is gonna be a short pot. And what I, I I have today, I have some flounders. And of course, they're not fresh. Um, I got them frozen from one of the local stores. And so I'm going to bake them. So I have four pieces of flounder. You see, this is like a white, you know, white fish. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to season it up. Now, the first thing I always put on my fish I just put some lemon juice. You can have freshly squeezed lemon juice, or you can just do um, just lemon juice. I mean, I just let me get let me get something because I don't want to pour too much of it in there um, because it's just uh, uh, for me it helps the scent. Yeah, lemon juice will help you know so it wouldn't be so fishy in your house because a lot of people don't like to fry fish in their house. So I just sprinkle lemon juice on the fish. Yeah, just lemon juice, just to kind of help the fish. And I even do that for my, the ones that I'm going to fry also. I always sprinkle lemon juice. And I'm going to use some pepper. Going to put some pepper on my flounder. Let me put it here so you can see. I haven't started the fish yet. So I'm going to put some pepper. Season it with pepper. That's on one side. And of course my season off. So I'm going to season it up. And you know, you do you. Hey, whatever season you like for your fish, do you. I'm just showing you how I do it, okay? And I have this little Creole I picked up from the store. It's um, original Creole. I'm going to put just a little of that just to give it a little kick, you know? So I'm going to put a little, just a little bit of Creole on it. And I'm going to put a little bit of paprika because I don't like it really white. So paprika, you know, is just a food coloring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You smell anything for paprika? No. So it's just some, I'm gonna put a little paprika on it so it'll have a little color. And so I'm gonna turn them over and I'm going to put some more seasoning on them. And let's see here. And we're gonna just stick them in the oven. And it usually it'll take about, I guess it'll take about um, um, maybe 15 minutes. It's, it's not long, it's not gonna take long. So maybe 15 minutes on this, season it up. And you don't have to really do a whole lot of seasoning for the flounder. The flounder, you know, is a fish, um, it's full of omega, omega fat. I, I, I want to put a little bit more lemon juice on this side also. So I'm going to just pour it in my hand. Just sprinkle a little lemon juice. You know, some of you might want to put butter. Some of you, you know, whatever seasoning you like. So I'm going to season this, season it up. I have the oven getting hot. And I'm going to stick it in there. Now, I, I usually use some parchment paper, you know, so it wouldn't... Um, you know, because um, the flounder is such a delicate meat. So I just use some parchment paper on it so it wouldn't stick to the pan. Even if you put all or um, whatever on it, it might stick. So I'm, I'm just put a put layer one layer on there. And that's it. Just like that. And we're going to let put it in the oven and let it do its, its own thing. You know, this... Um, you know, um, you see how it, how it looks. And, and, and it's, uh, um, the flounders are, it, you know, it, it, it's a good um, immune fish. It helps your immune, it boosts your immune system. And it also, you know, I told you that it's full of omega um, fat acid. 
and it's you know it's also it's just a good fish to eat it's almost you know and it's pretty expensive when you go in the stores and they fix it for you they're gonna charge you a whole lot of money to cook it but you know it's a little little fish that it, it's good fried also you know some people that's the only fish that they like is is um fried fish but if you know um we're going to get it started and i said like 10 minutes 15 minutes it's going to be ready so we're going to let it do its thing while we get the frying pan ready and we're going to fry up some fish but first i'm going to do what i'm going to do also i'm going to do some sweet potatoes i thought about baking the sweet potatoes in the microwave and i said i've showed you how to do that already so i cut up cut up two sweet potatoes i just cut them up and we're going to do like a I guess it'd be like a yam, sweet potato yam. So, sweet, you know, potatoes and fish is always good. So I'm going to add to this, to my um, sweet potato, I'm going to add some butter, of course. So I will add, let's see, maybe two sticks of butter. Cause I only cut up two, two sweet potatoes. You know, sweet potatoes, you know, even though they're out now, it's not the season. The season is usually, I think like in October. So I had four of them, but they weren't really that good. They had a lot of holes in them. So, you know, I knew they weren't that good. So I have some raw crane sugar, you know, the, like the brown sugar, but it's the crane. That's the crane. So I'm going to add that to my potatoes. So whatever you like to, you know, to, to sweeten your potatoes. So I ha have, I guess that was like, three tablespoons. I'm going to add a little nutmeg. Just, you know, it's almost like a pie. These are basically the ingredients that you use for a sweet potato pie. Yeah, that's what you use. And then this is, um, this is allspice. So just a little allspice because that's a strong seasoning. And then I have my cinnamon sugar. So, you know, cinnamon is good for you. So the, Kim was telling us we need to start using more cinnamon and I love using vanilla vanilla this is an imitation <laughs> but um but they you know I just use a lot of that and no water or anything so I'm gonna put this on the stove over there and I'm gonna let get this started and that's gonna be I guess it's gonna be like a yam so I'm gonna say like on a medium high I can cover it put a lid on it or I can just let it you know, it's not gonna take long. I might need to put a lid on it, but I didn't get a lid. So I'm gonna just let it do its thing. And then we're gonna start on our fish. So I'm going to go ahead and put, um, start my eye for my fish. I'm frying, I'm gonna fry two fish. I was home for the weekend. And so we got some fish. And so I kept a couple of them. So, cause I said, I'm, I'm a fried fish. I knew I wanted to bake it. So I said, I'm a, I'm a fry a couple too. And I know you know how to fry fish, but I'm just showing you how I do it. That fish is a very simple thing that you can fry. Um, so I have, now I usually, I didn't have any more um, baby D girls um, batter, but she has the batter. You all be sure and get some from her. So I had to just use my simple old um, house of entree seafood but you know there are all kinds of batter some people just use cornmeal some people just use flour hey do you flour they um but i just have the uh i just have the the house of entree um but uh, you know like i said they're all different kinds that you can use so y'all guess what i have so i kept we went we went to the market and we got some croaker I have these ones have the bone in them. I know you don't know about that, but these this has the bone in, and they, and of course they cut the head off. And that's a, um, I think this is a spot because we had a we had spots and croakers. So I think that's a spot. And guess what, y'all? I got a fish with the head on it. <laughs> That's the way it has the head on it. I know you said, I know you know. Yes, I am. That's the only way we used to eat our fish when I grew up on the island, St. Helena Island. It had its head, it had its tail, it had everything, and we ate everything. So I'm going to show you how we do that, okay? So I'm going to start it. I just have some Crisco um, canola oil. So I'm going to start it with some oil. No, I don't use olive oil for this, uh, for frying fish. So. I just have two of them, so maybe 
I don't think that's a whole cup. Maybe just like three fourths of a cup. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. You know, but if you have a deep fry, you know, that's wonderful. And a lot of people, they fry their fish outside. They don't want to fry it in the house. So they don't want it to center. But what I'm gonna do, I'm going to um, put some, um, of course, some um, lemon juice on mine. I'm sprinkling lemon juice on it. Put some more in there. Some lemon juice. Then I'm gonna season it up and I'm gonna fry it up in the frying pan. Just like that. Very easy to do. One with the head on it and one. So I'm going to use some uh, pepper. Gonna use some pepper. Because I'm not gonna use a whole lot of seasoning, but you like your fish to be well seasoned. So I'm gonna use some pepper. I'm gonna use some seasoning all. Not just the same basic um, seasoning that I use. Use some seasoning all. Some pepper on each side. I guess I should have been, been a little closer so you can see me seasoning it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm sprinkling some pepper and some seasoning all on it. And then on both sides. Then I'm going to flour it up and I'm going to throw it in the frying pan. Just like that. Just like that. We want it seasoned mud. Ah, I've never used this on this, but I'm going to just use a little bit of this Creole. Just see if it gives it a, just a little kick. Just a little. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. So let's see. If our frying pan is hot enough, it doesn't take long to have it on high. So I'm gonna put this in the front, season it up, batter it up. I love fish, you know, I guess you see that I love seafood. And I think fish is probably my favorite um, meat. I love fish, let's see. Oh yeah, it's ready. So I'm gonna put this in the frying pan and fry it up. Well, no, I guess I could have waited a little longer. And here's the one that the head is off, but the tail is on. I know some of you don't don't have never eaten fish with the head on, and the, um, but try sometime. You know, they at home sometimes we stew it up, stew the head up. And some people they they make they keep the head. They cut the head and the um, the tail, and they make a little broth in it. I have the sniffles. I got so hot, it was hot today. So here it is. I'm putting it in there to let it fry up. I just, so I just have two of those, and I'm gonna let that fry up, and we're gonna let it roll. We're gonna let it roll. Wash my hands and let it go. And I have a salad. I have a salad today, and. That's gonna be it. We have the salad and the yams. And I guess I'm gonna, let me see how high I have those yams. Let me cook, let these yams cook up high so it'll be ready by the time the fish is ready. Let me get a lid. I think this one will fit. So yeah, so I'm gonna, those, that's the sweet potato. And uh, that's it. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna see how the fish looks. And then the, uh, the fish in the oven, I have the salad ready. And that's it. So how is everyone doing? Hi. Is everyone still staying safe? We're getting ready for our election and you can vote, you can early voting. And I think we're going to be able to do the early voting, absentee voting, even if you don't even have an excuse. You know, they have a bunch of excuses why you could um, absentee, but I think they were trying to see if we could just do the absentee without even having an excuse. Just go early, it can start in October. I think it's October the 5th. You can vote early. Yeah, you can vote early. So I said, but I wanted to show you all something. This is the, um, this is something, what is it? it they, I got these and I wanted to share this with you. I got these from 
the Dollar, the Dollar Tree. It's called the Variety Pack. And it's all different kind of plastic covers. It's just perfect. My cousin told me about it. And it's, um, see how you can put it on the little bowl? One dollar. And, and it has like 17 in it. It has a small, it has four small, seven medium, and six large. I just wanted to share that with you. Hey, don't go to sleep on the Dollar Tree. These are so wonderful. You know, like if I fix my husband's dinner, I can just get one of the, the plastic. Let me show you. I'm going to open this one and show you. I think I got about four or five of them. See? You can put it on your bowls in the refrigerator. You can um, put it on your plate. See, then they have the small ones. Then they have this. This is a bigger one here. Look. You can use it probably for a shower cap. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself for that. But yeah, but um, I hope you all are still cooking. I hope you all are still being encouraged. I'm still trying to encourage you to get out and cook. Oh my God. So while we're waiting, we're waiting on the fish to cook. I don't mind waiting. I don't have the rights to these songs. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. And I know some of you are so despondent. I I see you posted, you're tired of the coronavirus and this not happening and our kids back in school, but we got to wait on the Lord. Things are going to get better. Oh, John Lakin, he's one of our locals and he wrote this, he penned this song. Things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. you may see God gave me a promise if I just believe things are gonna get better better for you so don't get discouraged don't get angry don't get upset because of this pandemic and what's going on, things are going to get better. Just believe and just remember, it's not going to always be like this. It won't always be like this. I think, who is that? LaShawn? Oh, what's his name? That's concerning you. Sooner or later, <laughs> it's going to work in your favor. Sooner or later, it's going to work in your favor. It's turning around for you. It's going to turn around for you. Y'all don't get discouraged. Y'all keep cooking. Keep believing. Keep praying. Things are gonna get better. Things are gonna get better. Look at that potato. Don't be discouraged by what you may see. God gave me a promise. Hey, God. Things are gonna get better. Things are gonna get better. Things are gonna get better. Don't get discouraged by what you may see. Just believe things 
gonna get better, y'all. Hang in there. The year is almost over. We're almost in the middle of September. And look, we survived this pandemic. I, I was like, when they said we had to stay home, I was like, me stay home? I stayed home, huh? Yeah, yes, I did. I wore my mask. I cleaned up. Tried to find Lysol. But I still believe things are going to get better. It's going to get better. But you got to hold out and keep believing. Things are going to get better. I heard uh, a prophet said, um, I was listening to a prophet the other day, and they said, uh, build up your immune system. But, but, but things are going to get better. They said, start taking more vitamin C and vitamin D and zinc. And just just build up your system so you'll be able to fight. You've got to fight. Oh, God. This pandemic is still out there. But but just keep holding on. Because things are going to get better. I'm not going to sing no more because I'm supposed to be cooking. <laughs> so I'm the, the singing, cooking lady here today. Pumpkin is singing and cooking. But, you know, you just feel it. Oh, God, it's going to get better. So the fish is frying pretty good. So it's usually probably about 10 minutes. The fish um, will be ready to one that's frying. And let's see how it's looking in the oven. Oh, yeah, it's looking good. It's bubbling up in there, I guess I had. But, you know, when you have fried, um, when you have uh, frozen, I tried to, you know, pat some of that water out of it because it's always full of water even when you um defrost it it's full of water so i pat some of the water out and sometimes i try to squeeze some of that water out because it's full of water when it's frozen like that so here's my fishes now this is this purple one is looking pretty good the one with the head on it is like it's um it's almost too soft but um this is a quick meal it's a quick meal, and you know, almost everybody likes fish on Fridays. So you can get the filet, or you could have fried the flounder. The flounder would have been good fried. Just like how I did mine, that's how you can do yours. Some people might fry it in a pot, but that's almost ready. I have the salad. I'm going to go ahead and put my salad on my plate. Let's see. Do my salad, and I just did um, a little green salad with some green lettuce and spinach and um, cucumber and tomatoes and I did some cran, cran raisins and I think it's relish and you know you just get those little bags carrots all kinds of nice little vegetables and stuff my husband don't eat a whole lot of salad so that'll be our salad and then we'll do a piece of fish and some sweet potatoes and that's that'll be it. So if you want to do some bread or whatever you want to do, do you. I'm just showing you how I fry my fish and how I bake my fish. And whatever vegetable vegetable you want. Now this one, I know this one is ready. And this is, see that? Can you see? See how pretty that is? That's ready. So I just kind of you don't want it to be too greasy. So, let that fry up some more. Let's see how that looks. That came out pretty good, didn't it? I love pretty fish. Don't you like your fish pretty? Let's see how, how our how our flounder is doing in here. Okay. I think our flounder is about ready. Look. I'm going to let it cook for a few more seconds. And that's going to be it. I know you can do this. I know you can. I believe in you. Yes. So this one is almost ready. This is almost ready. Oh, I don't know why this one is coming apart. It's kind of soft. Normally when it's like that, maybe it's not really as fresh as you think it is. But that one is almost ready. And we're going to do fish, sweet potatoes, and a salad yeah and that's gonna be a little healthy well i guess it'll be healthy if i um 
the one that's in the oven. So let's see how these two can taste. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, they were ready. They are almost ready. And when I take this out the oven, I mean, I'll take that, take this out the frying pan and then I'll take the ones out of the oven and that's gonna be it. Um, I still have aprons. I've been seeing some of you with the, wearing the aprons and thank you all so much. Remember to like, remember to share, and remember to subscribe. So here I am. I guess this is like four months later. This still helping you, showing you a few little tips. Maybe some of you have learned something. And so that's it. So that's the that's the fried fish. That's ready. The fried fish is ready. Look what I have, y'all. I don't know. I don't know if it's just seafood, but after I finish eating that seafood, I just want a little piece of chocolate. Am I the only one? I think it might, I hope, I think it's just seafood. I just like crave a little piece of chocolate. Seems like just to get that, you know, I don't know if it's a taste out of your mouth or what. Now, if you want some chocolate after every meal now, you might have a little problem. But I think it's just seafood with me. And I eat a lot of seafood. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> I want to be better. Things are going to get better, y'all. <laughs> okay, let's see about this fish. This fish is ready. That's my fish. That's the big fish. See? So, let me plate it. Let me show you. Let's see. I'll put, you know, I'm going to put, I'll put the fry on this. I'll put the fry, some sweet potatoes. Okay, let's see. Turn this on. Sweet potatoes. Fried. Oh, yeah, that's ready. So I got some sweet potatoes. And the fish. And I guess if you want to do some, some kind of bread, you can. I try not to do a whole lot of bread. My husband likes bread. This is gonna be my plate and I, I'll probably give him the bait. So I'm going to get this piece right here. And this is one of my favorite dressing. That's the Val Valdea onion vinaigrette. So I'm going to put this on my salad. And that's it, just like that. There goes the plate. That's the fried fish, the salad, and the sweet potatoes. And, and this is the, the um, I'm gonna taste a piece of the, um, I'll taste a piece of the baked fish, just so you can see. That's the baked fish. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's a baked fish fountain. That's good. That's it. Here's my potatoes. That's good. This potato, just a little simple meal. Did it again. I need to get off before 30 minutes. 30 minutes is almost up. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next week. And may God be with you. You stay encouraged. Encourage yourself. You can do it. You can do it. God bless you. And may God be with you until we meet again. I love y'all. Bye.